Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a full drugstore transformation video. So we are gonna be transforming this face, this hair, and kind of just getting ready together. I'm gonna to be using all drugstore and affordable makeup products. I was actually wearing this look in my April favorites and I got quite a few requests for it. So we're gonna recreate it today and just hang out. So I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I hope you have a great rest of your week. As always, don't forget to grab a snack and let's jump into it and get ready together. Okay, so I'm starting out looking a little rough here. So I'm actually gonna start with the eyebrows as always. So I, let me see, which pencil am I gonna use today? I think I'm gonna just stick to one of my go-tos, which is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. It just looks like this. This is one of my favorite brow pencils. I have quite a few, but I always go back to this one. I usually don't show my eyebrows that much in all of my tutorials because I do the same thing pretty much. So I feel like it's super repetitive, but some of you guys really seem to enjoy it. You tell me in the comments that it's like really satisfying and like I agree, I love like full face tutorials, but I can see why a lot of people don't do brows on camera because I feel like it is one of those like super boring steps. For me personally, the face products are my favorite, especially foundation, it's just like, Oh, when you see people like just applying the foundation, it's just so satisfying. To fill in the rest of my brows, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Bangin' Brunette Brow Color. This is like been my go-to pomade. It's so good, and this shade is perfect. By the way, the brow pencil is also in Bang & Brunette, and I feel like it's just like my perfect shade. So I'm gonna just apply this. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. 203 brush, which you guys know is my favorite brow brush at the moment. It's just so good. It applies the product so evenly and it comes with a spoolie as well, which I really like. So it's just a really basic brush, but I feel like everybody needs a good like brow brush in their life. And this is one of them. I think it's like $5. It might be a little bit cheaper, but it's really nice quality. I love e.l.f. brushes. This is my favorite drugstore concealer in a jar. This is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Beige. I'm gonna use a really flat concealer brush. This one is from Alamar Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna take this and just clean up these brows. Obviously, this is totally optional. I feel like this shade's a little bit too light for me, but you know. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna use a concealer brush. This one's from Amazon and I'm just gonna run through that concealer. I'm gonna be using this Broadway Colors Eye Primer. I actually found this at the Dollar General and this is like freaking bomb. Such a good eye primer. I really like this one and the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Base. That one's probably like another really nice one as well. I actually need to get another one of those. So when I purchased it again, I thought I was getting a backup of it and I was actually getting the eyebrow primer, which I didn't know was a thing. But NYX has an eyebrow primer in the same exact packaging as their eyeshadow primer. So if you're ever getting it, just make sure you're not getting the eyebrow primer because I tried applying that to my lids one time. My eyeshadow was like super patchy and I was trying to figure out like what was up with that. And it was because of the primer that I was using, it wasn't correct. But yeah, that one's really good, but this one's great as well. And it's like $4 at Dollar General. For today's look, I'm gonna be using the Through My Eyes palette from ColourPop. I know that this isn't technically drugstore and it's actually not super, super affordable. It's like $25, but I wanted to use it today because I do think it is worth it, absolutely. You get so many beautiful shades in here. They're great quality. And I've always talked about really great drugstore eyeshadow palettes that I really like from LA Girl, Wet n Wild, Elf. So I wanted to shout this one out again and I just talked about it in my April favorites. So I wanted to use it. So I'm gonna take these shade in a wink which is like a really nice base shade and I'm gonna just apply that all over and I'm gonna use that same brush it's a little bit darker than my actual skin tone I will always let you guys know when something is a little bit pricier if it's like worth your money and you know $25 obviously it's not like super expensive compared to like a $60 eyeshadow palette or like a Natasha Denona palette, but it's also not like a $5 Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, but it's a really, really nice quality palette. You get a lot of shades in here as well. I feel like you can create a lot of looks with it. I'm gonna hop into the shade Wild Soul in the palette, and I'm gonna just take this and run it right in my crease. I'm using my Beauty by Rosita blending brush. This brush isn't available anymore, which sucks because it's such a good blending brush and I just cleaned all of my brushes this weekend I'm so happy it feels so good like when you do your makeup with fresh brushes I love that
I love these shades. They're so buttery. They build up really nicely. It's a great palette. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Euphoric, and I'm gonna be taking that with that same brush. I'm gonna just kind of pack that on in the crease. Kind of where I just applied that other shade, but a little bit below it. You don't really have to use as many transition colors as I do. Like some people don't even use them. I see like when they're doing a darker look but I just feel like it helps me to blend my other shadows better and it kind of acts as a guide for me. So like I always know where to place certain shadows whenever I have a transition color. I'm gonna take this shade right here which is called Misbehave and I'm gonna use a this brush right here. This is, I was gonna say Sigma, but it's not a Sigma brush. This is just from Amazon. And I'm gonna just take this and start kind of packing that on on the crease. Doesn't have to be perfect, I'm gonna blend it out. Don't worry. I'm gonna take a Sigma E25 blending brush. This brush is so old, I've probably had this for like over five years and it's still going strong. I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Divina. Yeah, Divina, which is like guess in Spanish. And I'm gonna be taking that color. I'm also gonna be kind of packing that on. on the outer crease. I'm really gonna build this up because when I did this look, it was pretty smoky. Kind of just placing the shadows down a little bit because I really want it to be dark. I know that it doesn't look blended at all, but don't worry. I feel like my looks always look crazy at first and then it all will come together. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this shade right up here. Just kind of run that right in the crease. See how effortless it just blends out, I love it. We're gonna blend this. I know that it looks crazy, but I'm gonna do the lid shade and then I'm gonna kind of just blend it all together and it's gonna mesh really well. The shade that I love for whenever I'm doing these types of colors is this one right here. It's called Flex. It's like a really pretty, like just deep gray, but it is just so nice. So I'm gonna be taking that on a clean Anastasia number 18 brush. I'm gonna dip my brush and then I'm also gonna be spraying because that's always a must with shimmers. I'm just gonna pack that on the inner third of my lid. It's so pretty, it's like a gray taupe. It's just like a stunning shade. You already know, I'm gonna be doing some winged liner with this look, so I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eye tapes. I'm also gonna add a little bit more of the shade Misbehave as well, because I want that shade in the crease as well. I love mixing the two. I feel like it's just, creates like this really pretty like wine color. It's gorgeous. And as I'm blending out my shadows, I'm, I always have these little like washcloths. I just got them at like Walmart. I will like wipe my brush and then kind of just keep blending everything out. Now for winged liner, I'm using my favorite liquid liner. This one's the CoverGirl Get In Line Liner in the shade Major Matte Black. I'm gonna coat my lashes with some ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara and of course I'm gonna be doing some falsies today. I'm gonna be using the Scandal Lashes in Hollywood Glam. If you guys need some really pretty, like full, dramatic lashes, definitely check out Scandal Lashes. They're, for the most part, I believe that they are all under like $12, like $10, $12 around that range, and they are stunning. And these, by the way, they look a little dingy because I did use them already before, but I do reuse my lashes, but 
you see like it just really takes that eye look to the next level so as always i'm going to use my kiss lash glue which is my favorite i'm going to pop those on and then we'll jump into the skin so i'll be right back okay so i had a little bit of a malfunction with this lash so i'm just letting the glue dry on the side and i'm going to just pop it on in just a little bit so i'm going to just jump into the skin in the meantime so i'm first going to be priming with my favorite wet n wild photo focus three in one primer water the rose one is like my go-to i also really like the cucumber one just sprays really nicely i don't know why i always have to spray it first before i apply it on my face but it just feels so good and this one's like even running low i always like to prep my skin with that because i feel like it just helps my makeup to just melt into the skin and look super seamless and if you guys watched my recent april favorites you know that i've been loving the catrice prime and fine goodbye pores primer this literally fills in your pores like i don't know if you guys can tell but it smooths out my skin so freaking nicely it's crazy so i'm gonna just apply this on my t-zone doesn't really help with oil control but i mean with smoothing out your skin do you see that and kind of just like giving you that really soft look it's so nice with any extra product i'll just apply it to the rest of my face but like really i like to focus this where i have larger pores let's try to pop this lash on real quick Okay, so today for foundation, I'm feeling something super full coverage. So I'm going to go back to one of my OG favorite affordable foundations. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm just obsessed with everything about this. You guys know I've raved about this for forever, and it's still one of my favorites. So I'm going to be using the shade 8.5 and 8. I don't know if I'm going to need to mix the two shades. I might not need to actually. No, just kidding. I'm going to just go in with the shade F. Eight. And I'm just gonna put this all over. I actually should probably get a new one. I actually need to go to the drugstore and pick up things that I need to like restock on that I love that are my favorites. And I'm using my e.l.f. beauty sponge. This is the total face sponge. Every time I use this foundation, I'm like, oh my goodness, like why did I ever stop? It's just so nice. It is a little bit more on the matte side though, so keep that in mind. I think it is gonna work best if you have more combo or oily skin but it's not drying but i've heard people with dry skin not really love this foundation so by the way i know my nose it looks a little crusty it's actually healing i got like a pimple on the piercing area and it's been it's been a little journey with my nose piercing but it's healing it's actually a lot better than what it was okay today for concealer i'm going to be using the elf 16 hour camo concealer this one is in medium beige it's so creamy it's like literally I feel like the e.l.f. concealer is a Tarte Shape Tape dupe. Even like the way that it feels underneath the eyes, like it's definitely more of like a matte finish, but you can see it's so creamy. And it blends really well. Is it done? Yeah. Okay, I'll be down. Alright, this needs to charge. Okay. Do you need it? Can I charge it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I don't want to like walk in it. There's Hector, making his appearance. <laughs> you have your hood up, it looks like you're about to like rob a bank or something. I'll take it down. <laughs> Peace, love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Okay, I was just kind of like touching up the brows a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face really quick and I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution baking powder. This one is in the shade Lace. I love this one and I love the banana one as well. I just hate this packaging. So usually what I'll do is I'll use the lid of a different translucent powder and I'll apply it in here because the packaging on the Makeup Revolution one is awful, but it's such a good powder. It doesn't give you any flashback. It's like really, really nice and brightening. You can see it's like, it's very white. Like it looks crazy when you first apply it, but like it's actually really, really nice. Once it sets into the skin, it's beautiful. so nice i love it and the banana shade's also really nice too i like that more so when i do have more color on my skin because i don't feel like it gives like a straight up yellow undertone i just feel like it's better if you have tanner skin i'm gonna go ahead and set my brows as always with my nyx tinted brow mascara i actually have this one in the shade black it's not really a black though it's actually just a super dark brown oh i love it every time i use this i'm like oh my gosh this is so good Okay, 
Let's do something different really quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up the lower lashes first and then I'm gonna finish up the rest of this face. Oh wait, almost forgot to set my makeup. I'm gonna use my NYX No Filter Powder. This is one of my favorite setting powders, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna use this Ginormo Powder Brush. This is from Equate, you can get it at Walmart. I'm just gonna press this into the skin. This one's in the shade Medium Olive. Might be a little bit too dark for me at the moment. Like I feel like I need a little bit more color but I love the powder so much that I'm just gonna use it anyway and I'm gonna bronze the chest like always, so don't worry if it looks a little different. Cool. All right, now we can finish up these lower lashes really quick. This is also usually the time where I'll fix like my liner, like you see it looks a little powdery, so this is when I do like touch-ups on everything. So let me do that really quick. Liner is so matte and so black. I'm gonna go back into the Through My Eyes palette I am gonna start off with the shade right down here. I'm gonna use a definer brush. This one is from Sigma. I'm just gonna kind of place that right there and then I'm gonna smoke it out like always. I'm gonna use this brush. This is the e.l.f. blending brush and I'm gonna use the shade Divina, which is like that purple eggplant color and I'm gonna smudge this out I like to kind of squint when I do this I don't know I feel like it helps me and I think that's all I'm gonna use in here yeah because for the brow bone I'm gonna use a different shade that's not in the palette because I want something a little bit more silvery so I'm actually gonna just use a brown liner this one's from LA girl it's their glide gel pencil and this one I believe it's just in the shade brown yeah, it's just in the shade dark brown I love brown liner, I think it's so pretty and it's like less harsh than black, but it's still really dark, which I love. These liners are the best because they don't smudge on my contacts, they don't irritate my eyes, they're really creamy. I love them. So the final thing I'm gonna do is really, like besides the inner corner highlight, which I'll do in a minute, I'm gonna just coat my lashes with some lower lash mascara and I'm gonna use the same ColourPop BFF mascara. Okay, now we can jump into the skin. So I'm gonna be bronzing my skin with my LA Colors bronzer. This one is in Beach Babe. This is just like a really gorgeous warm tone bronzer. It's perfect for bronzing. You can use it as like a transition color in your crease. It's really, really nice and beautiful. And I am gonna use this LA Girl 101 brush. It's like a big fluffy powder brush but I feel like brushes like this are perfect for bronzing the skin so I'm gonna just take this tap off the excess a little bit and just start bronzing and just adding some color back to that face I love this shade it's like super smooth also on the skin like it's not muddy it's not too orange it's just it's really really nice so I like to just take this everywhere to add that color back. I'm also gonna use the same bronzer to bronze my chest as well. I'm gonna use my favorite e.l.f. 101 brush. Oh, they're both called 101 brush. And I'm gonna just take that same bronzer My lips look so crusty, they're like fiending for a lip color, but we gotta finish the base. So I'm gonna go into my Makeup Revolution Pro HD Contour Palette, and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's like a little ashy color. I'm gonna do just a little bit because this is a super pigmented shade, so like a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna just take that like right on the cheekbone area. And then I'm gonna use a little bit more of that transition powder or <laughs> translucent powder that I had earlier and I'm gonna just kinda clean that up. I just do a little bit. I don't like to do too much of that. I don't really bake a lot either, like just for a long period of time. Just like a little, just a little. A little bit. For blush today, I'm gonna go into an old favorite. This is the e.l.f. blush palette. This one's in the shade Light. This is such a great palette to have, I feel like, for spring and summer. It's just so pretty, it's so pigmented, it's so smooth on the cheeks, it's perfect. So I'm actually gonna pick up these two colors right here. And speaking of e.l.f., I'm gonna use their Stippling Brush. I'm just gonna apply that right to the apples of the cheeks. Look how pretty that wash of color is, I love it. They also do have a dark palette as well. I always go ham with the blush, oh my gosh. 
but the dark one is like more deeper shades which i think would be perfect for like tanner deeper skin tones okay picking up my anastasia number 23 brush i'm going to be highlighting now i really really love this bh cosmetics blushing in bali palette or bali i want to say bali i really like the blushes in here too they're pretty but i just i wanted to use something a little bit more warm these are more cool tones but the highlights in here are everything they're so like oh the camera isn't even doing them justice, but they're so pretty. Like, look at that. It's crazy. Like, on the skin, they look so much better, and you can even use them as eyeshadows as well. So I am going to take the shade Glisten and Sunkissed. Um, hi, there's me. <laughs> and I'm going to just mix the two, and I'm going to just pop those right on the tops of the cheekbones. Such a pretty palette, and it could be really subtle too for every day. So it's one of those highlights that is versatile. It's not gonna just be like straight up wet right off the bat, you do have to build it up. But I like that because, you know, depending on the look that you're doing, you can always like switch it up. Right above the lip, I love highlighting right above the lip. I feel like it just looks so pretty. Let's blend this out, shall we? And then with that shade glisten. Oh, how pretty is that? Right in the inner corner. Oh, I love that. And then right on the brow bone. See how frosty it is? BH Cosmetics, you killed it. Love this palette. See how like that just brightened up the inner corners? I'm obsessed. Now what I'm gonna do is the lips because these lips need a lip color. I'm gonna use my Koki Retractable Lip Pencil in the shade Warm Nude. For lipstick today, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Lipstick in the shade Prime. I don't know if this specific shade is still available, but Makeup Revolution lipsticks, like they have so many different kinds and they're all really, really nice and creamy. Look at this shade. Like, it's so pretty. It's like a light pink nude. Mm. And it's a little bit cool tone, so like it goes with like the eyes. It's just, it's so good. You don't need anything over top of this because that's how creamy it is. Like the formula is insane. So what I'm going to do, I feel like my makeup looks a little bit powdery right now because I just have so much face makeup on. I need a setting spray. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Glowy Dewy Spray. Um, there we go. Perfect. I love the setting spray. It's glowy. It's pretty. It's fresh. It's not glittery. It's not greasy. It's just, mm. and it smells like coconuts. If you guys are familiar with the other e.l.f. Dewey sprays that they have, I feel like honestly they're all the same, just like different packaging, but yeah, they pretty much all do the same exact thing. And since I am here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. This one is from ColourPop. And I'm gonna jump back into that Blushing in Valley palette and I'm gonna actually spray my chest and I'm gonna highlight my shoulders. Um. <laughs> like yeah um yeah go get this palette please do yourself a favor and get it and get that spray too because that's really good okay makeup is done now it's time to do this hair so typically I will just straighten my hair because one it's easier Two, I really like the way that it looks when it's like short and straight I don't know I just love it and I feel like you can really see like the balayage and everything by the way I know that this looks super warm like it looks a little bit more warm than this side it's because I have a lamp right here and it's kind of like shining right on this area so it looks a little warm so yeah I usually straighten my hair I use a Remington straightener that's like super affordable you can find it at the drugstore like Ulta but today I figured I would show you guys how I do my top knot bun which I get so many questions on every time I do my hair like this you guys are always asking me so that's what we're gonna do today so what you want to do is just brush through your hair this is my favorite detangling spray you can find this at any drugstore I love it it's from Garnier and it smells really good it does a really good job at just getting rid of any knots that you have and just making it super easy when you brush it actually it doesn't get rid of the knots but it helps you if you have knots in your hair so I spray that in my hair I usually do that honestly when I get out of the shower but if my hair is dry like today I will also do it just because 
it makes it so easy. And then you're also gonna need some hairspray or honestly, sometimes I will just use setting spray, but my flyaway hairs get on my nerves, so sometimes I have to use hairspray. To be honest, I don't have a favorite hairspray. This is just the one that I currently have. It's from Sally's. It's the B Z, wait, B T Z, Beyond the Zone Frozen Stiff Hairspray. If you guys have any really good hairspray recommendations, let me know. A lot of them leave like a nasty white residue on my hair, which is why I usually don't use hairspray, but you know, for today, we're gonna we're gonna do it that's why I said that this hairstyle works best when you have second third day fourth day hair because it's greasy obviously so like it'll just slick back a lot easier and then you're also going to need one of these brushes you can get this at, again any drugstore Sally's Beauty it's just really nice because it does a good job at like slicking your hair down you see so whenever I put my hair up or anything I always use a brush like this so I'm just gonna do a super high ponytail in my hair Ooh, you can see my armpits, so don't look at them. So you want to, I'm trying to like not show you guys my armpits because they are not cute. Like they are not, no, they're dark as you can see. Anyways, I'm gonna just do a quick little spray and I'm gonna brush through this ponytail. The key to this is just to get it to look as sleek as possible. And obviously if you have short hair like me, you're gonna need bobby pins as well. That's another thing. And then you just take that brush and you kind of just Sometimes, like I said, I'll just use setting spray because I feel like it helps. You could use water as well, whatever works for you. And then just kind of brush through it. And then since obviously my hair is short, I have to like do this. So the higher you want your bun, that's how you put your ponytail. So if you want your bun to be more so in the back of your head, you make your ponytail like a little bit more far back if you want it to be like right on top of your head, which is usually what I do, like a top knot bun. I put it like super, super high and then you wanna brush through this, obviously. If you guys have any tips for um, underarms, let me know because yeah, I shave mine every day, which is also probably not good, but they're dark. And um, yeah, it's not gonna be perfect. Like I said, it's like my buns never look perfect, even though they might look like it on camera, there's not. I have like a bunch of bobby pins in my hair. But um, the key is just to try to get it to be as sleek as possible. Then what you wanna do, make sure it's like nice and tight, and then you just wanna wrap the bun around your head like this. And you just take another hair tie. Then you basically just add the bobby pins wherever you feel like you need them. So like obviously I need them right in this section. I should have brushed that out a little bit more, but with bobby pins, like it works to be honest. It doesn't have to be Perfect to be honest. This will obviously work better if you have longer hair because you're not gonna have to worry about like a ton of You know bobby pins, but if you have shorter hair, that's what you have to do and that's it You just if you want to you could do a quick hairspray like that and then I just use that brush to kind of brush through everything and that's it that's pretty much it for the hairstyle it's super easy it's one of my favorite things to do whenever i don't feel like doing my hair or whenever it's hot like in the summer i love this hairstyle because it just gets everything out and it's just it looks nice like it doesn't look like a straight up messy bun but you know your hair is out of your face and everything so. all right guys so that completes this full one hour it actually took me a little bit longer than an hour to do this video and to get ready maybe like hour and a half close to two hours but full drugstore transformation look hair and makeup i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for all of your continued love and support i appreciate you guys so much and yeah lots of new videos are coming i'm really excited for this week's videos so stay tuned make sure you have your post notifications on make sure you're subscribed and yeah i love you guys and i will see you in a few days in my next one Bye.